the early 1980s, Hoover UK introduced a new core line of machines called the Turbo Power. There was the U1100 Softback, there was the U2332 in Wedgwood Green, there was the red U2338, I think, which was the glass Turbo Power. Very, very breakable machine. The pigment reacts to the plastic. And then there was a blue one, Autoflex. Now, I've only ever had a green one. In fact, I sold it quite recently, the picture you've just seen. Never had a red one. Seen one, that picture you just saw was a good friend of mine. Saw it around his. I only know a few people with them, and they never, ever use them. They're all in the corner, out of the way. And here is the blue one. So let's have a look at it. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? We have from the very first lineup of turbo power cleaners the um, it is a U2198 from September 1984 so older than me this bus dated about 35 years old because I'm 31 and it is beautiful or will be when it's done this is the before video this is from my good friend Richie who you've seen the Office Contract Senior and the Ranger Convertible, whatever we call it in the UK. This is the last one from that batch. And it was actually a lot filthier than this. You can just about see the remnants on the bag door. That was all over it. I had it in the bedroom because it's quite rare. I didn't want it in the shed. And Amy, lovely Amy, she was tidying up and gave it a wipe down with baby wipes because it was disgusting so this isn't as great as I thought it would be because it, it was shocking it really was been in the garage for a long long time so it's a bit cleaner now sadly but nevertheless we shall carry on so this is the first cleaner to have the automatic cord rewind system, or as Hoover called it, Autoflex. These are on Turbo Masters as well. I have a couple of Turbo Powers with it because they they then fitted it to more. But this is the first generation. You can also tell it's an early machine. We won't see on camera. It's got a brown cable, which I have seen before. So that, ooh, that works very very well indeed. Sometimes they can be really slow. You can tension them up, but I don't think I will on this one. I don't think that's an age-appropriate plug. It looks quite modern. These wouldn't have had fitted plugs at all. In fact, in the manual for these is all about how to wire up the plug. We have the switch at the top, which doesn't have any writing on it. And I can't see any ghosting of writing, so it's either had a new switch or it never had the writing. I'm not entirely sure. Move down, we have the Hoover in blue, the air freshener Dubry, and then down here, the Royal Warrant is actually ever so slightly pink. And so, showing that massive scratch running through everything. In fact, on the hood, the height adjustment decals are also pink, not white. If we look inside, we can see the disgusting bag. I don't know what's living in here. I've not actually had this open yet. But the bag is disgusting. It's a bit mouldy. It's also from Sainsbury's. So, there you go. Oh, the sticker that should sit on the inside of the bag door has fallen off. And it also cobwebs, although no actual spiders, and all the screws are rusty. So we should probably have a look at that. Let's have a look 
in here. Oh, there is an air freshener in here. I think that was Summer Meadow. Over the light green one is. If you really put your nose into it, you can just about smell it. Only just. So, we'll leave that in there, but obviously I haven't got a new one, so we cannot replace it. There we go, inside here we can see the inner of the Autoflex housing that sits behind the bag fill tube. We'll pop this bag back in for now. Oh, I don't actually have any other ones with me and we'll move down to the bottom of this early machine which is basically normal turbo power stuff you can see the colours more now they are sorry, they're not white they're red I'm not quite sure where that came from so if we decline it we say it's cleaner than it was because it's been lovingly wiped down with a Dettol wipe but if we turn it over we can see brown yes again the earlier ones because I've had my U2336 was like this had brown chassis and a brown base plate it's also got which the later ones didn't screws holding in the spring for the height adjustable wheels Let's whip the base plate out and see what we are coming up against. The wheels are in good condition. Don't know if they're original, they might be. Don't know. I've got the brochure for this. I might see what I can find and put it up probably at the beginning of this video while I waffle on. There we go. So we've got four screws here. Aren't too bad. Let's see what we find. Not too bad actually. We have a Qualtex brush roll. Brush roll belt. In fact, I think this probably is a Qualtex brush roll. It's not genuine, but it's okay. Doing this though, the motor spindle is not turning very easily by hand. That's interesting. That is quite interesting. So we'll pop early base plate because it has not say it's a it's brown, b it hasn't got the middle bar that they gained later on in the run from '86, I think, was the start of the second generation. I'm not entirely sure. So we'll pop this back on. I think it was because my red one's from '86 ish the late 80s and that's not from the first round that was when that was the darker red not the glass one which apparently are do literally shatter on their own oh yes that's the other thing that is missing from it sadly there should be with this hole here a plate to obviously cover up the lower corner and this hasn't got it so i don't have one either though so we can't really put anything there oh Stand it up. Doesn't have really any real lean to it, so that's good. I can't remember if it's turned on or not, so well, I don't know if I have turned it on yet, so this will be interesting. So we'll leave it there. If it might come on when I plug it in, it might not. It won't. All that smooth. Let's put the height control down. Ooh, we have a seized bearing or two in there and the headlight doesn't really work either let's stick a little bit of mad about sand down see if we can pick this up 
Hopefully it's going to do it very easily. The brush roll is turning though. coming from that bag so it runs it runs okay well no it runs awfully but it runs and it, it it still got all the sand it's not horrific it's just down on its luck the poor thing it's also got no shine to it at all as you can see here it is just matte completely matched is a little bit of a shame because when I polish it up you'll see where I've had to mask up the decals but there's a fair bit of scuffing up here which I can minimise but not fully get rid of but the rest of the machine but you can see it trying no oh, go away you can see it trying to be shiny but not very much so hopefully we can improve upon that. You can see actually there's some more of the white spatter here that comes off. Don't really know what it is. But either way, there we go. The before video of this machine. I don't know how. Oh, I'll try and do this one handed. Hang on, let me hold this with my arm because I don't want to break it. No, it's, it's not early on in the run. It's also got the earliest small ratings plate on it, which the, the older ones had a much bigger one. So, yeah, there we go. Number 3,757. All filthy, dirty. So, next time you see this, it will be beautiful once more. Ready to take pride of place in Rich's connect collection. Connection, collection, even... That's not faded either, which is good. So there we go, really. Just a quick before video of this Hoover Turbo Power Autoflex. Very rare to see one of these in this condition now. I don't think there's many left, so it's a bit of a privilege to be able to show you it. So, for now, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.